That's a good place to work in the build the community to allow for discussion about finding specifications you can relate to so you can an educate decision on your purchases. We're going to be going through this testing again. This is going to be, now the previous one was flawed, even said in the, the title of it, uh, but uh, there was a little bit of variables for it. Um, basically for that one, I thought that basically the better lubricant would uh, make the knife better. So if I just added it to the same knife, then it could make it better for it, uh, but it was flawed. It was just a, a idea because uh, there hasn't been really made, uh, much measurement as far as this process, as far as what lubricant is better for a knife. It's more about uh, feel, um, experience with it, and um, the reviewers know what they're talking about with that too because a lot of times you get to know a reviewer as far as what they recommend, and then when you pick up the knife and then it matches up uh, with what they're saying or what you expect of it, then that's where it kind of builds that rapport uh, with them uh, but I'm going to take this one uh, to try and get the most even playing field for it um, I went with a um, CRKT Voss and this is going to be with the field strip technology and then also uh, one of the things that was brought up too as far as the location of where uh, the Lyman pull gauge was making contact with the blade so I did add uh, some hot glue uh, so this is actually where uh, the, the tester will land each time and that notch is actually from the tester, so it will line up with it. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing uh, is taking it apart and then cleaning it. Uh, so running it just on the Teflon washers. Uh, I don't think Teflon washers are permeable. They might be. Uh, so again, we might have another thing as far as uh, another flaw. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, taking it apart, uh, cycling it uh, probably about 10 times. I think the other one I did like 50, which is... A little excessive, uh, but we'll do 10 times uh, as far as open, close, open, close, and then uh, we'll basically bring it back to an open position and then get past the detent ball. And then I'm going to take the pull gauge. Uh, basically, the knife is going to be at a 90 degree. It doesn't look like that on camera uh, because of kind of the convex lens, uh, but this is a 90 degree. And I'm going to basically take it and then do um, in grams to actually make it as, as close as possible. Whereas accurate as possible and I'm going to be lining up with that notch and then doing a pull on it and then we'll see where it lines up uh, so we're going to do that uh, we're going to clean this one first uh, for this knife here uh, so now if anybody hasn't had the field trip technology um, this actually is just one thing that you roll down until it little clicks and then you go and open this up and then disassemble so like so and that's how it goes. So if you do have any of these little Teflon washers that fall out or it's not staying with the blade, uh, then you might have a little bit of a um, defect there. Uh, so I'm going to be using these little towelettes. Towel, towelettes? Blah. Uh, but this is going to be the ones that I clean glasses with. Um, so uh, probably not the best cleaning solution for it, but it's basically an alcohol wipe. Uh, so and it's consistent. So each one of them has its own packet. Uh, so we're going to clean these off. So get it back to just the Teflon. And we'll see uh, how that goes. Then I'm going to put, now when I do the lubrication, I'll probably do three drops uh, per side and then uh, one drop on the actual detent ball to add some lubrication there. So we'll see how that works and if this test is legitimate enough to proceed with other brands. So if there's other brands I want to uh, do the same testing, uh, then well, send it my way and then I'll run it through the same test. Because uh, right now I just have Blue Lube, KPL, and I probably have WD-40 somewhere, which I don't use on my knives. But that is another lubrication that I do have uh, handy. So all oh, that's clean, so that's clean, that's clean. Nope, I don't think I cleaned the detent ball, so detent ball cleaned. So there's going to be uh, the starting point or the baseline. So everything goes back together like so. Rotate it the other way. Then pinch and close. So I said 10. So we're going to go we see cycle 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And open back up. 
and then we're going to get past the detent ball and then we'll do the test. So this is going to be a 90 degree angle uh, in grams uh, with the pull gauge. Just trying to get that zeroed out. So 90 degree and pull. So 103. Start that down actually. 103. We'll do three poles just to get a, an average. One oh three. That's that's actually good. It's actually uh, good to get the same number. We'll go back, pass a detent ball. Zero out, oh, zero out. And that one's a little bit higher. So 111. So 103, 103, 111. So let me know as far as this testing, I mean, uh, I'm trying to get as close to being uh, variable free as possible. Uh, which I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, but um, at least the knife seems to be a better way to go since it takes away from uh, having the question as far as, well, uh, the, the detent or the, the pivot tighter on that certain knife. Uh, so then that doesn't count because um, when it loosened up from the other one, this one, it's all set. There's no change in variables for that. There might be some minuscule one, but... Uh, each time we put it back together, rock it, and roll it down, click it over, and that's set. So we're going to start with the blue lube and then KPL as far as the competitor to that. So we're going to go three on three. So basically three here. And of course, this is probably not as scientific because it's not like the exact milliliters uh, that you're applying to each one of these washers so that could be another variable well that's a lot so i may have already skewed the the test here but we're going to do the same thing for the other one and see how it turns out and i might need to do the test all over again but we will try it out see how it goes it's kind of how this is as you're working with different things you try things out if they work fantastic if not well you're just along for the ride so we'll see how it goes tighten down pinch close 10 times so basically one two three four five six seven eight nine ten open back up Pass the detent ball. So reminder, that was 103, 103, 111 for the first one. So 107. So detent ball. One sixteen. So so far, it seems that adding lubrication actually um, gives it a little bit more resistance and back to 103 so we'll put it and take it apart again clean it out and then see if there's any difference uh, with the KPL so in the end uh, we might come about 
and actually find that there's no difference or there's the differences. Don't put lubrication on Teflon washers, uh, but we shall see. But that was, there was a whole bunch of different ones as far as uh, uh, folks saying that it wasn't accurate as far as the testing goes. So that's why I figured to do it again. Um, I had this knife sitting around uh, with the um, hot glue gun piece on it for I think a month or so because I think I did the initial test back in October. Then I just haven't got around to doing the test again with the different knives that are coming in and what's not. So I figured it would be the time because I'm still getting comments on the video, even with the title saying uh, basically it was basically a failed attempt, but uh, let's try and get this a little bit closer. And if anybody has any recommendations for something that they've used for years uh, that they feel is the best uh, lubricant uh, for pivots and knives, uh, let me know because uh, I would like try it out uh, but so that should be cleaned up so we're back to even uh, so letting that dry a little bit as far as alcohol to dissipate and then so we have blue lube is done KPL is up so a three and three and then detent ball so we got initial one uh, Teflon is 103 103 111 then we have the blue lube 107 116 and then 103. So three. Three and one. That's on there. So KPO is done with that. Then let's put this back together. And then we'll do the 10 cycles and then see where that leaves us. And let me know, I mean, if this is something that is actually a total waste of time and you don't want to see this ever again, uh, then we'll go from there. But it seems like it would be good to get some type of actual measurement uh, for the test. But it could be wrong. It could be just me. Maybe just my own curiosity. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And by feel, it does feel smoother by feel. Uh, so we will see. Pass the detent ball. Turn this back on. It's going to be the 90 degree again. Switch it over to grams. Do the pool. Ninety-eight. So that's already lower than the Teflon by itself. So back to the beginning. Pass a detent ball. Ninety degree. Zero out. Ninety-four. So back to beginning. Pass a detent ball. So so far, as scientific as alignment pull gauges and a CRKT VOS, it seems like we have something. So hundred. Uh, so. So far, that seems to be accurate. So at the end of this, I'll put all the averages. Uh, so now post-production, I'll add the averages in there. Um, so right off the bat, uh, KPL is better than plain Teflon, is better than Blue Lube, at least in resistance. Uh, so whatever that test might be, so that feel of it being smoother and everything else, I mean, I guess it's proven uh, through the pull in grams. Uh, so it was without anything, 103, 103, 111. 
with blue lube, 107, 116, 103 with KPL, uh, it was uh, 98, 94, and 100. So even the last one, which was the highest number, was still lower than the Teflon by itself. So let me know what you think. If you have any other lubricants that you want to test out or want me to test out, uh, let me know. Uh, if any brands want me to test out their own lubricants, send it on my way. Uh, address is in the description. And then if this test is kind of correct or as close to as correct, then I probably will leave that hot glue on there. Um, and this will be my test knife uh, for this uh, lubrication thing. So let me know in the comments down below as far as what to think. And thank you for your time.